Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. We'll do live analysis here uh, for Friday. Uh, and uh, let's jump right in. General disclosure, all Bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, let's take a look at some order flow right away here in Bookmap. Uh, and uh, just looking at the uh, uh, cash open here uh, and uh, uh, some pretty interesting moves down below uh, some levels here. High liquidity comes into the book here at around this 43.65. Uh, here's the cash open 9.30, the move to the upside. <laughs> back down, right back up into high liquidity yet again up here. Uh, and then right back down into high liquidity down here. One more push down below. And now we're getting the trending move. All right, so the move uh, here to the upside. Uh, so trading the open, uh, especially on, on um, uh, during this kind of geopolitical uh, period can be kind of tricky. Uh, any trading during a geopolitical period, um, uh, events that are, are unfolding can be very, very tricky. Uh, and you'll see this kind of movement back and forth. Again, you can use liquidity to your edge, to your advantage, uh, understanding like where they really are uh, in the order book and do they transact? Uh, where are the stops? Where are people getting stopped out? Uh, looking for reversals back into the mean, uh, mean reversion type of trades. Uh, it is very tricky. Uh, and the news can come out and everything is, is uh, it changed. Uh, so, yeah, you know, during because of that, be very careful uh, with uh, and keep your, your ears uh, uh, tuned to the news uh, to see what's going on. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it's hard to even to do that. Uh, you listen to the news and uh, even if you have it like uh, uh, real time, I mean, there's larger players who, who are going to be in front of you uh, and they're going to be moving it uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So uh, just, uh, uh, you know, it's a, tr it's a tricky environment, basically. Uh, we don't know what, who's going to say what and what the market, how the market is going to react to that. Uh, anyway, we, we're going to go through the order flow. Uh, we don't have the news, any news feeds up. We're going to just go through the order flow here. Uh, we can see the events unfold here. And even even in the order flow here, I mean, you'll see the same things happen again and again. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Like if, let's suppose some news comes out um, and uh, it's very bearish. Well, you'll see these guys pull here. Uh, you'll see them add down here maybe. And maybe they'll even pull down there. Uh, you know, so... Uh, Regardless of what it is, you, you, you'll see the events unfold. Really interesting amount of liquidity up in this area here. Uh, they pulled, okay, larger player in, up, up in these areas here, uh, and uh, layering in, okay, high liquidity in these areas. They pulled, they did not want to trade. Okay, this is up near the highs here, the 4382, uh, on up further. Uh, and um, the uh, uh, very, very high liquidity in here. Now, this to me looks like a beautiful layering uh, spoof uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, classic stuff however they're, they're getting filled in here so it, it is not a spoof it is not layering uh, you guys I, I, I pointed you to that um, uh, CME 575 rule uh, and uh, they talk about layering and spoofing and what it looks like uh, and this is this is layering okay multiple layers here uh, now, because they're getting filled, it's, it's, it, it negates that. Uh, but uh, if you see this kind of activity here, and then they pull, uh, then, you know, they're probably trying to get price to go higher uh, back up in here without taking any risk uh, at all. So um, the, um, yeah, nonetheless, I mean, they, 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 they bought in here, uh, and you can see that uh, uh, price is moving away from them. All right. Yeah, good morning, Fabio. Uh, all right, let's see here. The um, I want to I want to take a step back and look at the higher time frame as well, and put this all into perspective. I just wanted to cover what we see right now, and also in terms of structure. Let's just quickly outline it here because this is a really pivotal uh, area here. Um, again, just understanding market structure is so so important. You see the breakout of this area here. They pulled that liquidity. 
uh, and then you can see like here the new structure beginning above that area here now is it sustainable does it accept we're seeing a lot of selling coming in right now uh, so uh, you know are these sellers going to try to drop it uh, you see buyers here on the bid uh, here so we're not getting really clear answer right now as uh, you can even see them starting to bid up as price goes away and then they're pulling as price comes back down so we don't really have a very clear answer we do see a lot of selling transactions in here so we might get a quick dip and we might get a move right back up into this range uh, you know uh, get people going the wrong way uh, and then seeing a lot of stops triggered uh, maybe uh, back up in, in the top of the range in here we'll go through these scenarios as as uh, we see see it unfold here uh, but right now we just don't we don't have much insight we know that there, we're trading at the bottom of this range here uh, and we know that there's some selling down here right now here, here come the buyers trying to lift it away from this smaller range uh, and then maybe back up into the the swing here or this liquidity here at 85. okay did not accept did not come up here not yet at least and I just want to point out here, you can see the uh, fractal fractal nature here. Okay, so yeah, they're back up. They're going to go for it, 85, 86, 87 here. Uh, and uh, there we go. So there's 85. Okay, looking for more though. I want to see more than that. Uh, you know, it looks like the buyers are trying to take control. So let's see them take control. Here's a retest immediately to where it broke out from. Okay, so the primary scenario here is is uh, to the upside in this very very small move, and we're just looking for a move back up to the top of the range here. Okay, it would be really good to see underneath here in the in the order book. See how it's kind of dark in here? It just doesn't give us like a lot of confidence in in this move. It's dark up here too. They're they're up here to sell. They're down here to buy. They're down at 78, a little bit at 80, right? So nothing nothing. Uh, primary scenario is totally uh, failing here. Sellers are sellers aren't really coming in, but price is dropping. Yeah. So no, nothing that nothing here installs a lot of confidence in this move. Even this here is like it could be advertising for a, a quick move back up into the range. A lot of stops just triggered. It was this buying up here most likely. Okay, and coming down to the 75 level here. All right, let's see if we get our move back up into the range here. Uh, right back up into where we just kind of broke from up here. Uh, let's let's call it 82 and a half or 83. And right, they're staying on the here in, in the bid. Um, all right, let's uh, also. Um, Take a step back and look at our higher time frame here uh, and look at our candlestick charts just to give us some uh, levels some zones uh, to take a look at okay the daily chart i mean you can see the back and forth in here uh, several days uh, so uh, you know been really choppy but you can see the ranges in here um, and you can you can start to mark these areas up as well so for example let me draw something in here same idea uh, that we look for in the order flow. Rectangle. Let's go with solid. Okay, here. All right, there. There's our our uh, uh, our range. Okay, and then here's our new range down here. Okay, and now we're looking on this daily chart since we're down at the bottom of this range. Let's take a quick look. Let me get rid of this. Uh, 
we're down at the bottom of this range. We tried, you can see on the daily chart, they tried to bring it back up, but we're right back down. So on this daily chart, this is bearish. Uh, looking to see if we can get maybe a break of this range here. Uh, and a move down to these wicks down here on the daily chart. So we, we might see a really nice move today. Uh, it might unfold a little bit later, but keep keep your eyes open. Uh, this kind of 80-ish uh, area, 42, 80, 70 uh, area looks really good. Okay, if we can get an extended move down, down into that area here. Lots of wicks down here. Maybe the first test would be 43.13 or something like that uh, due to this swing and these wicks down here. And that might be a little more reasonable at this time. All right, daily or uh, hourly chart here in the middle. You can see we're kind of bouncing off of this little uh, uh, move from uh, the other day. Okay, this is where we found some buyers <laughs> and gapped up to the upside. So we're, we're starting to see some some uh, buyers here again. And that's what we're, we're kind of looking at right now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, here, here it is on the 15-minute uh, chart. Same idea. Here's that uh, swing on the hourly and uh, the buying coming in. So now, just even on the 15-minute chart, look at the wicks in here. Look at the, the range in here. Okay, can you can you see it? Right in here, right around this uh, 43.87. So we need to see quite a bit of buying lift it back up, and maybe they can come up to 4,400 up here. Okay, that would be the primary scenario right now, to be honest, uh, because this is a pretty strong move up. Uh, we got we already had our retest and we're already right back up here again so i'd be looking for primary scenario on this 15 minute chart is a move back up here okay at 4400 so let's jump into book map now the the secondary scenario would be uh, a move and a test back down to here and that wick here uh, this swing low here 40 43 75 and then more sellers to drop it down to lows of the day all right, so let's let's take a look here. Okay, so uh, yeah, this was the the move down down to here, and we're right back up in the range. Uh, and uh, let's see them try it back to the top of the range here. Not bad, not bad on the buy side here. Uh, and uh, not too bad on the sell side either, bringing it right back down into the middle. Mark is reacting to this uh, liquidity in here, kind of a push, finding some sellers. Looks like some buying interest here now. Let's see if these guys pull, actually. I'd be really, you know, really curious to see if they're going to get filled in here, uh, this liquidity here. Yeah, they do. They got filled. Very interesting. All right. Well, let's see. Can we get buyers back up above that uh, transaction right there? If we can, we should come right back up to here where they dropped it and maybe this liquidity here. And then maybe we can get a, a bigger move that we're looking for on that 15 minute chart. Okay, here's some, not exhaustion, but not a lot of selling here. Let's see, we need more buyers up here and then, then it's on. And then we'd be looking for the move back up here. 86. Good morning, Dove. Forty-three, okay, and Fabio, uh, forty-three seventy-nine. Um, overnight uh, initial balance high. Now resistance. All right, let's see it, buyers. Let's see if you got it here. If you got to get back up here, looking for that scenario here. And then a move back up. First stop would be around this 86, but I I see the liquidity up here around 88. Good morning, David. Good 
Good morning, Tom. All right, so primary scenario uh, not unfolding. So maybe they're going to try to trade into the 75 here. 75 liquidity. Can the stop indicator also um, be stop limit entries? Um, no, I mean they're they're they're. Um, No, no. If it, if if it if if the market touches a limit, a stop limit, at that point that it touches it, it becomes a limit order into the order book. So it is not a stop order. All right, let's see it, buyers. Let's see it. If they, we had this little kind of one more move back down, looking for the buyers back up here, 82 and a half, and then if we can get more. Yeah, exactly, uh, Tom. It, it, it's risky. I mean, you, your, your stop limit, gets it gets unpacked uh, and then goes to a level, but and stays at that level that you um, you inputted, but it's a limit order. It has you're in the order book, and y you know if price is blazing through an area very very quickly, uh, you're not going to get a fill, right? So uh, if it's back and forth environment, you will um, most likely much much higher probability. All right, guys, let's see it. Looking for these buyers and looking for that quick move here. Looking for some support underneath. I don't like seeing this underneath here that is kind of dark. Uh, this is how we get these back and forth environments in here. Sellers can easily take it back down and, and get filled down here, or these guys can get filled down here at 75, right? So you get it gets people on the hook here and then moves away very easily and quickly uh, back down into these lower levels here. Okay, is, is Bowie in here today? Bowie, you got your beautiful uh, uh, VWAP trade all set up here. Is it going to trade through it? I mean, it already did. You can see it bouncing in here really nicely. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, here's your breakout from it. Re-tap to it, tap to it, tap to it. Now it's trying to break through it. Okay, so now if now if this is the move, and this is a lot of VWAP traders, here, here's our move into 75. Okay, they need to move it away from here really quickly uh you know if and we see a lot of selling coming in so this could be a nice move let's see if we get more selling in here uh, then it makes pretty good sense that, that we're looking for a pretty quick move down to about here okay about around this structure down here uh, right around this uh, 70 or 67 level here now i don't see much liquidity here i see some coming in here at 65 right now and Jerome is waiting down at at, at uh, forty three fifty. And let's see, Justin, uh, what you're trying to say is, uh, yeah, guys, look looking for this the strong move here, looking for them to move it away quickly from this whole structure up here. We're we're down. We have some other ideas as well using VWAP here. Okay, not looking for them to re retest back here. Well, no, retest maybe, but not looking for them to try to get back up above it. Even though, it, look at the stops here. I mean, amazing amount, right? 581. So, I mean, uh, and how many points have we gone? We've gone five points, usually five points. If we go like more than three, we're looking for continuation here. So looking for more sellers yet again and looking for them to continue to drive this. Okay, we are sell side here, uh, and this is not a recommendation. We don't do that in here. Uh, we're just reading the order flow uh, and uh, looking for follow through uh, in the order flow here. Typically, we know that if we get like you know more than a three point move in the S and P, typically, and okay, not always in in volatile times like uh, it can you know this can be a, a false breakdown. 
Okay, but typically this in structure still holding here. It has not got back up above this little swing here. So we're still sell side here. Here they go. They should be able to move it here. Looking for the move into, into 70 and then 65. Okay, this will be your kind of bearish flag pattern as well. Okay, so there's a setup in here. And this is uh, this is Bowie's setup. You're in this Bobby Bowie, right? I imagine. You don't have an answer to that, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, but tight, yeah, yeah. In this environment, you you, you just got to be like even even partial profits along the way. Um, but in in overall, I mean, this is what we've seen. This is what we know in the order flow. That typically, like you know, once it starts to move away from that zone, when um, we look for the uh, uh, it, it it to trend back down into an, another level. I mean, the opposite scenario is just wicked here. Um, you know, get back above here and see the buying come back up above VWAP here. And all of this selling in here um, has got it wrong. And then, we, then we'll get that move in our, our higher time frame move. That scenario starts to unfold pretty nicely here. Uh, that uh, we'd get back up into 4,400. But yeah, now we're looking for a 62 down here, something like that. We're, we're looking at a 65 liquidity here. There they go. Another stop run though. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it. This is not giving me that kind of uh, good feeling as well. I'm seeing stop runs here, pretty pretty big amounts, and uh, uh, I'm I'm not, and we're coming right back up in here, right? We want it to be moving away quickly, you know. So a consideration on your trade management on stuff like this is like, well, okay, how how you know, uh, uh, like like Bowie is saying, just being really tight with the management on here. Uh, consider taking partial profits or full, full in, full out, because you know we're 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 seeing a stop run down here, and and we're seeing some icebergs as well, uh, and uh, it's just it's just not giving us the the flow that we're looking for. Hey, Dove, you took a trade here. Yeah, so you're looking for the retest back to that transaction right here and then going short. Yeah, nice one, Dove. Yeah, so we were looking for that scenario due, due to the higher time frame. We're looking to try to get it back up above it. Uh, and um, uh, we got the move back to it. And we don't really see selling pick up until right around here. But nice one, nice one, Dove. All right, all right, sellers. Here's your chance yet again. I mean, this is still basically a pullback to here, pullback to VWAP. So I'm still still retaining that sell side uh, outlook here. Uh, I just need to see the break here. Okay. 
and they should do it right here. It should be easy for the sellers to do this. There they go. Now, let's see them really try to move it away from this cluster as well. You know, that's what we look for. We want to see them move it away on, on size and, and, and speed. And then hit this liquidity down here. Yeah, and this is not it. This is actually the opposite setup right here. First leg selling, second leg none, and buying coming in. It's, it's tricky. That's that's actually what we, what we look for is a retest back up to here and the move higher. And now the move. Okay, now sellers should be able to keep blazing here. They, they've got the move now. It, it took a long time to, to pan out. And, and, and really tricky in here. Still looking for lower. Looking for 65. And let's see if we can get down lower as well. Now, now we're, we're, we're kind of aligning our higher time frame again uh, back down into these wicks down here we can come back down into about 50 55 57 something like that there's 65 transacting sixty two is the next stop here and then our 57 level, 55 looks really good. And that's where the liquidity is also the, the figure 50. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, Bowie, you can breathe easier, I imagine, at this point. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. It, I mean, it's it's this it's tricky. That was you know it's tricky the, these little moves in here. Um, and um, uh, I, you know we've been seeing this. Well, you see it all the time. Like you know you got to get people going kind of the wrong way, um, and then stick it to them. Uh, and um, uh, but in this environment here, we just don't know who's going to be taking control when and where. Um, typically, like we said, that if you know you see the move away, that's like five points. Or more than three, uh, they're moving it away from the from the level, uh, and we look for a lot of selling in here. But it was really back and forth in here, and in these volatile times, and we've seen it, you know, that uh, they'll come back up here and break back up into 85 here, and then come right back down again. But, uh, no, they're, they're, the sellers are, are behaving now. I mean, like they're they're pushing it. So we've hit we hit some of these levels here. Uh, Do we hit 62 yet? Mm, almost is 62 and a half here liquidity still looking for it we hit some liquidity here well three areas here here and and here so they should be able to hit it once more there they go and they should be able to still let's i want to see the move like all the way down to 55 here Let's see the move outside of the uh, of the day's range. I might be asking a little much at the moment. Uh, let's see. Can you talk about the 581 stops that you mentioned around 4370? Sure. Stops are yeah. Stops are not held. Um, they're held at the exchange. Um, and if, yeah, they're not in the book, of course. Um, uh, yeah, we don't, we can anticipate a stop run. I mean, you can look at some of the swings uh, and uh, kind of look for it. Um, and uh, you can kind of look for, you know, where people maybe bought in a certain area and then where they might get stopped out. Um, but the, the beauty here with the stop indicator here with MBO data 
is is it's fact we we know it like you don't have to you don't have to guess so um this area here 4370 so i'm not i'm not sure which if i zoom out maybe you can see it better it aggregates it so are you talking about this one here This 561 this is around 75 ish up here, somewhere around there. Yeah, and but how do we know for sure? It, that's the MBO um, uh, data. We just know there's more data coming in. Um, it also it you know it's showing the position in Q, um, and the way that these the orders come in, we also know. That uh, it's that's our 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 indicator. I mean, we found a way to determine it. Uh, same with the icebergs. But it really is like factual. It's just it, it, there's no really denying it. Oh no, we don't know if they're entering or exiting. That's true. Yeah, we just know their stops, and it's it's okay. I mean, we don't need to know that um, necessarily. Like uh, uh, what we want to know and what's really critical is um, it's like the way Scott is using it uh, is to understand the event and then what happens after the event. As you guys can see, we, we had like some pretty big stop runs to the downside here. 561, 236, 206, 151 down here, right? But we continue to go lower. Well, not not on this 151 yet, but uh, uh, so what matters is it's like this up here. Um, what matters is the event, the big event here, for example, and then that area. Does it trade above it or below it? Here it traded to it, and we don't really see the sellers come in yet. We just come come back into this range here. Here's where they break the range on some size. So we don't really know yet. I mean, um, Dove has his strategy. If he uh, he'll he'll look for a retest back here. If he doesn't, I'm not really sure. Um, uh, Dove, like maybe you can articulate um, a bit more on the uh, the um, the buying in here or what exactly you're looking for. Um, and yeah, so you know, looking for some exhaustion, looking for maybe 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 a kind of a nuance here would be looking for selling down below here, this little breakout here. And then sellers coming back in here, but I don't really see them. It just it doesn't really give me much of a uh, insight, in in my my opinion, my my view. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't really looking for it until you know until we start to get down here and we start to see the break. We start to see the the, the selling coming in, and then very choppy in here for a bit, uh, and then the break, and then back to. <coughs> <laughs> pretty choppy yet again so the point is um, point is Justin that uh, it's the event and then the reaction to the event just be you know a lot of traders you know will think just because there's a, a big stop run we're gonna you know see trade everyone's out of the market and we're gonna see uh, the stops were run by market makers or whomever, and then it's going to run a you know million points the other way. Um, maybe maybe sellers like they hit the stops, but they want to be sell side. Maybe they're interested in taking it lower. Uh, may, maybe yeah, maybe like you said, there's some some um, sell stops entering in there uh, as well. Typically though, very very typically, we can look at this and. We when we see a kind of an order book sweep, okay, just like this. Okay, typically th these are people exiting the market. Okay, it's a, uh, that is a stop run right there. Okay, three levels of stops. Some stops also triggered in here. Okay, you can see it in the red line here. Uh, this is where they're 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 triggered in here. Uh, and then they are swept. They are swept through uh, two other levels, so three altogether. 
and 147 altogether. Okay, it's nothing but selling in here. In fact, it's one event. So these might have, we don't know where they all got filled, in fact. Um, I mean, we see the red line in here. Okay, does it make sense? Uh, Tahoe 77, so you're using Rhythmic. Yeah, a CQG uh, data is good, except that uh, you're not going to get full depth data. Okay, sellers continuing to go lower here, guys, but uh, they just slightly broke the low here. Retest back up. All right, let's see the sellers. They, sh they should come pounding in here. If they don't, we're looking for a nice, you know, move back up. They should come pounding in here, try to reach this 55 level. Uh, trade blaze through this 60. Uh, we've had a lot of chop in here, so now we're looking for a move. Okay, 60. Let's see it. Okay, and then let's see the move. 59, looking for 55. Some liquidity coming in here at also at 56. Uh, so it seems like you remember hearing Rhythmic had some sort of de detailed market data, others do not. That is correct. Yeah, they're the only ones offering market by order data. Okay, quite a bit of buying coming in there. Nice, beautiful stop runs in here as well. But this is this is a, on our low volume pullbacks. See see how this is not what we're looking for. In fact, it it, it allows the buyers to reach right back up into the structural area here, uh, where where it kind of broke from up here uh, at uh, 64. Here's why: if we look at the 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 um, the move down, we're looking for sellers to hit it hard, hard, right? We want to see them really drop this here. Uh, but if we look at the the volume in here some good selling everything looks good at this point buying even down here we can see it in the bars uh, pretty clearly some of the buying comes in uh, but uh, still a little bit more selling but m now more buying coming in right so we can kind of look at it and can kind of compare it's like that's not really what we're looking for we want to see like a pullback be on very low volume buy volume see how there's more buying coming in here so if they get back up here look out we're going to go right back up so 65 maybe top of the range here. This is where we had, we'd anticipate the stops to be up here. Okay, we already hit some at some of these swings here at 66, and there's gonna be some more here. They, they were all j just triggered as well, 105 now. Okay, so that, that's our, there's our move. That, that's what we're looking for, this move to about here, right, 65. Okay, due to this buying, so what do you what what would you guys think? Like, where would the um, what would be a critical area here uh, to look for buying above uh, in this? And these lead to setups and something to study. Something to consider. 67. Allen. 70. Higher time frame, 70. 
<coughs> um, is is a good good level uh, on this reversal though I'm talking about. Okay, now it's a reversal on a really low time frame here, and we're still big higher time frame. We're still bearish, but but you know looking for these buyers to to lift it back up uh, into some of these areas here. Sixty-two, sixty-two and a half, sixty-five. Look for look at the pullbacks in here. Look at the structure, and 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 this is the, so it, it's it's in it's in this structure here. Okay, now where where in that structure would you be looking for the potential for that that pull or the um, kind of reversal like this that we're seeing? No, 70 is above, it, it's within this rectangle. Okay, be right here. So 60, maybe, maybe, maybe a little higher, maybe 61, somewhere around there. <laughs> way off alan uh alec uh yeah well and, and here here's why now this is where like we're gonna we're gonna go over this and and it also relates to something dove was looking at okay we see the big transactions here okay so let me let me uh actually get rid of this one and this one all right so yeah, I mean, you could you could even say that this one is also, I think, equally like uh, you know, pretty pretty decent here. Uh, kind of kind of where it dropped from here. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I like sixty better. It's a little bit cleaner, and we also see the um, uh, the move uh, back to it. Right here's the pullback to it. Okay, so selling, and we're looking for them to hit it hard and to continue. You know, fifty five, fifty. Like, why not? Why? Why? Sh they're starting to pick it up. We're looking for it. Now we get we get a pullback. All right, so that's fine. Um, but look at the volume within the pullback. In fact, let's put this within um, uh, a range here, uh, and and uh, we'll we'll uh, we can study it uh, in more detail. So like here, here they go. The buyers are going to go for it. Sixty-seven, and then sixty-eight, and and then seventy here. Let's see if they can sustain this here. Okay, let's mark up a little structure on this on this uh, counter trend move here as well. Something like this. See how they're they're not able to kind of make up the higher higher highs here. They made an equal high, so this might this might be the end of it. In fact, right because of this right here, 66. It can't get back up above it. Okay. No no insight at the moment. I don't see anything in the order book here, uh, telling us much. We're looking at the structure. That's helpful, but I, I don't see any kind of commitment either on either side here. Okay, Alec, you see it now? Yeah. So it, here it is. Here's here's what we're looking at: the the move down, the pullback here. On a pullback, we don't we want to see like I mean, there's quite a bit of buy volume in here. That's not what we're looking for. Let me show you, like on the on a low volume pullback. I want to show it on the downside, and a, and a, and a good one though. These are these are convoluted. See how they're? This is the same idea here. They're kind of back up above that area here, and then the move back down. This is not. I mean, this is low volume in here. You can see it. Right, the the bigger volumes here, and the bigger move is here. Uh, it it is it is kind of a low volume pullback, 
uh, is really not very clean at all, at all. What, what we're looking for instead is like um, a, the strong move, a move back. Um, <coughs> you know, it'd be nice to see it rather quickly, uh, but on very low volume. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, all these things align. Uh, I mean, J Trader, uh, he's looking at this on on his for his J line trades. Uh, you know, he's looking at volume, low volume pullbacks. Uh, we're looking for structure in here. We're not looking at a moving average. We're looking at structural areas. So, for example, in this low volume, or this pullback here, uh, there's a couple of structural areas to look at. One would be up here where it dropped from, and high liquidity getting filled, and it's on the offer up here at 70. Okay, you guys pointed that one out. Um, and then the... Um, uh, the other one would be like some some of these little clusters in here, and then another drop, right? So this area in here as well. If we can't get buyers back up, and and then we can start to compare the volume uh, in here, and also the order book, it it makes a big difference if they're going to lower liquidity down in these areas here. Okay, so the setup would be something like this: we see the high volume coming in sell side. The pullback is back to the first cluster here, uh, and uh, and and look at it in here, and look at the dots. Look at the size of the dots as well. Uh, it's, it's really not giving us much. It's really it's really back and forth in here. Okay. Now we get once we start to see the selling pick up below this range in here, we got it. And what can give us insight to that beforehand is here another low volume pullback. Right, you see a bit of a bit of volume in here. Look at this pullback in here. There's not much volume on this at all. Look at how low it is. Okay, so if we see sellers here, we can start to look for the potential break of that range. Right, and exhaustion. We have exhaustion up here. Noti noticing exhaustion. Noticing that it, you can't. We can't get back. We can't get buyers to even make an equal high up here. And then we look at the order book as well to give us insight. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys cannot hear me very well. Let me try. Uh, how about this? Is that better? I'm uh, a new headset is arriving today, <laughs> so I'm hoping this solves this issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. I it, this I've had a lot of issues with a couple of headsets lately, and I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. But uh, uh, anyway, um, I hope the new one uh, will uh, uh, will solve this issue. Okay. So here we go. I mean, we were, we were talking about, we didn't really know in here, and it still doesn't look very good in here. It really doesn't. Uh, it did drop. We noticed it in here where, like, okay, well, shouldn't they, you know, be able to, this volume coming in here, great. Well, can't they reach back up to here? Here we, we're getting our answer. No, they couldn't. Right? That's why understanding structure is just, it's just so critical in here. I don't. I, I still just don't like it. I wouldn't touch it uh, in here. I, I just. It's not me. Um, I, I'm not seeing any sort of commitment here. Now, I see commitment here. But now they're they're upended, and our line is actually still holding here. It's really kind of a little bit lower here. It's where it's where this drop took place. Let's just move it down a bit. Is here. Okay. Now, you know, hmm, how do I cover this? Um, can you, I mean, can you guys, do you guys see that? Do you see that, that kind of like how that is kind of a pivot point now and how it's important to see what happens above or below that area? Yeah, and 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 I know this is it doesn't fit into kind of a bigger um, 
a bigger plan like uh, you know a double bottom or double top here uh, or the volume profile um, you know strategies uh, and but this will work on anything like on any market uh, is this is we're just talking about areas where you know people were uh, uh, selling down below an area or or stopped out down below an area and we see buyers come roaring back in above that area Now, if you look at your volume profile, like, uh, you know, maybe you'd say, like, uh, this is, like, kind of a finished edge down here. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, and uh, we're going to have a mean reversion trade, and they'll look look for a move back to kind of a high-volume node, something like this. And the first move up to a high-volume node, you look for a fade. You know, you can even make, let's see if that argument holds true for this one. Yeah. Yeah, it holds pretty pretty nicely uh, for this one as well. So here here's our high volume node in here. Okay, and but look at the structure too. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to be a volume profile trader, uh, and that's that's um, kind of kind of one of the goals in here is to that you can be a pattern trader, you can be a fib trader, you can be whatever, uh, but just understand some of the structure, and then the order flow within that structure. Okay, so this this kind of 65 area that we're looking for our first target looks pretty good. Um, and uh, if you're a volume profile trader, you're looking at a profile here. So the first retest to it is a fade. Okay, beautiful then. Beautiful trade. Okay, so then what do we need to see for it to move? And, and this, this is kind of a finished edge here. What do we need to see? We need to see a lot of selling. And right here, right now, is when we're looking for it. Right now. We're making lower highs in here. Uh, I'm looking for a lot of sellers to come roaring in and hit 55 here. And I don't see that yet, and nor am I getting much from the order book at the moment. And that's where it just gets tricky. It's just not a it's just not a clean read, and that's fine. You know, if it's not a clean read, it's not a clean read. Other times, it's so well telegraphed. It's just it's beautiful. Yeah, I, uh, Golden Gate. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm with you on that. Like, it, it does look weak. Um, but, you know, this we've just seen so much massive chop um, during these sessions. And then the European close, and then we see, we see some directional stuff, uh, typically, start to unfold. Um, let's see, uh, Fabio, you're talking about, yeah, the chase and escape. Uh, let's see these sellers here looking for them to drop it. And I want to see them. There was a quick move there. Uh, and I, I don't know what I think of that quick move. Like, uh, you know, we see some stops hit and we see some icebergs also, but, uh, um, I still want to see the break or I want to see some volume at 59 here. And then I'm looking for that, the, the move down to 55. So here's the here's the event here's the order flow event here right so yeah and now we're starting to see it down below here it's not really that convincing either yeah it's not bad it's not bad it's looking better yeah looking for 55 okay and then let's see if we can even get lower here right so now we're getting away from all of this traded volume here to move away from it we got to have size right otherwise we're going to get rejection down here right the 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 kind of tail end here of your profile let me let me uh, let me pose a question in here like um um
Okay. So uh, if you could, uh, so are you a volume profile trader? Then uh, hit hit the uh, thumbs up on that one. If you're not uh, and you're a pattern trader, let's say, you basically just two choices here. Um, but hit the thumbs up on pattern if you are. Just give me a better idea, like, you know, what, what, uh, what to, 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 to look at here. I mean, volume profile is just so, um, uh, so popular, but I mean, there's so many people still trading these patterns and, and they're equally valid. They're, I mean, they're just different ways of looking at data, basically. <laughs> it depends on which one works for the day. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm looking for sellers yet again. Hit, hit. I want to see them move away. I want to see them really move away now. Uh, I want to see this turn into another area of trading uh, action down here. Okay, uh, somewhere between 55 and maybe 47 or so. So there's 55. Looking for more. Looking for a lot more. Looking for 50 and and 47. Or I want to see it break 50 and and kind of get people going the wrong way, and then then get our chop back and forth. You know, something like that. That would be the a scenario, uh, what to look for. Okay, and so far, all we've gotten is a move into 55. All right. Uh, sorry, Doug. I don't think I have SPY up. Let me put it in, though. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I read it earlier, and then uh, uh, and then uh, forgot about put, putting it in here. Yeah. So you're definitely looking for it to go lower. Yeah, you're looking for this. Uh, 435 area here so not much lower but you definitely want to see that area hit yeah yeah agreed yeah so that would be the 4350 here looking for it Here's a low volume pullback right here. Okay, now it's not really great volume moving it away. In fact, in fact, like yeah, I don't really trust it either. I want to see that volume moving it away on size, you know, from from the top to the bottom here. And that's that's why I, I actually like having the um, looking at all these volume dots. Because I want to see it consistent and with size. Uh, if I have it filtered here, and a lot of guys do this. Um, they uh, they'll filter it here uh, with um, minimum display volume, uh, which is great. I mean, it's a great great feature. And you know, if you're more zoomed out and you're looking at this, um, you know, this is uh, you know a good way to kind of look at just bigger volume trading and like who's in control uh, basically. You know, but I want to see it kind of consistent and and um, uh, moving with some size. Okay, poor pattern traders are getting beat up. Only only five five of you guys. Boom, there it is. All right, great. Look at that stop run, huge stop run. This is what we're looking for. Not not as not as great as this. Um, wow, that's really turning into something. And we have an iceberg on the other side as well. Jeez. Okay, so there's our event, right? Here's our event to look at here, above or below 4350. We already see the pullback coming. Now this is a low volume pullback too. Okay, so then 
you know your your setup for a low volume pullback is this is where you get in and you look for it to go back down again now the tricky thing is this is a big event and a big stop run and if we can get buyers back up above here then this is going to be a very very different picture you know there's this event and this event there's actually a couple So that must have traded Doug. Yeah. Uh, with vigor. Yeah, and moving it away. Yeah, this this is the big move. So that I, <coughs> it looks like not only a low volume pullback, low volume pullback, looking again for continuation here. Let's see if we can get down to 35. Now, huge iceberg on the other side. But that's okay. They typically have those deeper pockets uh, on chart. That's too high. Okay, 441. Okay, some news. I, I was wondering if it was some news, Alan, as well. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, it's just, it's that level there. Uh, that 4350 level, I think. Yeah, well, perfect timing um, uh, to get price to go lower. Yeah, yeah, good combination there. Okay, so here, here's what we we're looking for, that finished edge, sellers to like drive it down below and then start to build out another profile. Now, the, you know, we can get moves back up into here uh, very easily, and here, here it comes, All right? But we're still, and these are, this is the big event though, okay? And look at the volume in here, All right? So primary scenario is, is still a low volume pullback, and we're looking for more sellers to come back in here. You know exactly where you're wrong uh, is up here, and you see and you see big volume up here above the event. Okay, so this here is the pullback to these transactions and the event. Okay, and what was the condition of the order flow in this area? There's not a whole lot of buying in here, so sellers are in control, and we don't have enough buyers to lift it back up above. At least not yet. Okay, so still still sell side, still looking for sellers to, you know, try to drive it back down. We're trending low, lower. Now, this is really choppy in here at the moment. And this is very, very typical. Like, you get your big event, and then lots of chop, and then a new event. Uh, those beautiful trending days, you get your big event, your low-volume low pullback, <laughs> another break and and trend a low volume pullback another break and trend you know here we got the big break and then chop sellers ought to be able to take these these guys on at 43 So can, can you guys see this move here? Like, you know, we, we know this is the big event and, and we even know that, that there's structure in here that was broken, but it pulled back to the big event, right? And sellers have been in control. Even if we're going back and forth in here, sellers are still in control, right? So this, this could be something to, to worthy of, of studying, taking a look at, going back. Um, Dove was doing that. Uh, he looked at uh, this event here. And a low volume, low volume pullback, basically. I, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't like it. I mean, like, um, 
as much. I, I just see some, I see more volume in here. Uh, but um, uh, when it's really, it's really, really clear, you know, you, you, you won't see much volume in there. Uh, conversion factor to S ES to SPY. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, Doug, maybe you wanna you wanna chime in on that one. Um, I, I think. I mean, as far as I can tell, uh, I mean, you can maybe look at uh, uh, the beta um, and uh, and start to kind of figure all that out. Uh, I imagine it's going to change every day. Uh, but um, uh, you know, I, I know Doug is just looking at major areas of liquidity and lining that up within the S and P or the Qs. There you go. Thanks, Doug. All right, sellers, let's hit it 40. Let's look at our higher time frame too. I mean, we're trending now. There's 40. Let's look for 30, 35, 30. Okay, here's a microcosm of our, our event and where it dropped from here. Now, the, the, really, the selling happened down here. So this is what we covered um, uh, like a week ago or so, where is the majority of, in this event, in this drop here, where is the majority of the selling in here? It's down here. So see how they can get upended? See how we, if we get all the selling down here, it doesn't take much for the buyers to, to bring it right back up, right? That's what is key to see the selling and the consistency of the selling here. Where is that majority taking place? See how the buyers are putting it to them, trying to stop them out, trying to get them upended here. Right, so our our range is here, okay. But the order flow is telling us something different. It's it's really down here, and we're actually above that range now. Okay, and we're back into the previous range where we just broke down from. So let's see the buyers move it back up here to forty six. You know, other side of the range. Now there's one caveat in here, and that is our point of control or most traded level back in this range here. Typically, you'll get a, a, the move back to the um, a kind of high volume node here and a fade. Uh, and then maybe another retest back up here and see if they can get through it. Or is it going to fail? Okay, if it does, then we know what we're looking for. We're looking for sellers right down here at 42 and a half. And then we should see the break and we should get a move back down again here. Okay, just, just based on the order flow in here. <clears throat> No insight. We're just right back into that kind of new new range that we're looking at here, right in here, building out. Okay. All right. So let's see it now. The sellers. Now we had we tried a few times, couldn't get back up. Sellers should be able to take it now, back down to thirty nine. Yeah, don't know about that now. Yeah, don't like it. Don't like it. If I get the sellers down here at 42, then I'm looking for the break. Again, same, same, same pattern, same ideas in here. See the event and see the selling and see, the, see how they're above it here. Yeah, and uh, good thing, you know, uh, 
you know, look, look, was looking for it, but uh, uh, we uh, we came back up and we and testing this point of control again or this this um, high volume node here. Now the buyers are back up above it. Okay, so they should be able to reach the other side of the range. They should be maybe tag fifty here. Yeah, the bigger event up here. Okay, so we got it to 48 and a half and not many stops yet. Let's see what that buying volume looks like. It's pretty good. Okay, so now we're getting a retest back down here. Okay, first one, I'm looking for a bounce. Okay, here's our retest back to the high volume node, looking for a bounce back up. Let's see if we can get back up here at about 47 and three quarters. Okay, same same idea with the uh, the VWAP trade. You know, if that VWAP was in here somewhere, let's suppose it was like in here. You know, break through it, back retest it. But in this case, we're looking at a high volume node. Okay, it's still above it. It's still above it here, right? So still looking pretty good above our kind of 44 and three quarters and 44 and a half. So in this small move here, buyers are still in control, okay, above this area right here. Kamala told told Putin he should stop. Okay, so it's, it should be good. We're 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 out of out of the uh, the thick of it then. Uh, RSI, Chris, when um, looking at indicators, um, uh, I am very very careful with indicators very very careful in fact it's more about um as a confluence not it's definitely not a signal yeah so and and really i i find what's so important is you really have to know what your indicator is doing understand the math behind it like what is it doing uh it's really important uh, uh because um it, you know, it, it, let's just, I mean, I, I've gone through the example so many times. We can look at even the, the stops and icebergs. We, we know what it's doing. I mean, this is just cumulative volume delta of stops and icebergs, the way that I have it set up. Guys, okay, so here, this is this is the move then. Okay, so we, we, we read it down here and we didn't like the, uh, uh, when we talked about it, right? That where did that selling come, it really come in down here? And it was down here. And see how they got upended here. And then we got buyers back up in this area here. All right, so the one caveat was the point of control first. Uh, and that we're still we're still sell side basically until like, I mean, that's kind of the last gasp here um, is this kind of point of control or like high volume node. First time a fade and then it just kind of hacked around in here. Um, and um, uh, And then we see the buyers broke it, broke above it retested to it and then went higher okay back to where our main event took place up here get okay, at, at 50. i mean uh, there's all sorts of strategies to go through here and okay, when you see this kind of thing in here and you see those buyers come in you know you look for 
the move back to top of the range or bottom of the range here first point of control next or high volume node next uh, and i would take my profit there um, then i would look for maybe a new trade uh, for a break of it maybe i'd get in a, on a pullback here right because i know buyers are in control from this point on right and see see the look at the buying in here this is what I, this is a, a really good example look at how how much buy volume is in here and see how it's consistent all the way through even though there's a little bit of a pullback a couple times in here um, this is this is strong and it's strong from this point up to this point okay some exhaustion up here but it's it's pretty strong all the way through uh, and uh, <laughs> you know that's they've taken control from that point and they've moved it away from that area okay down here they didn't really do that down here we see the um, uh, the move lower and the big volume is actually down here it's not that consistent so they can get upended very easily here so look for those areas okay does that make make sense Okay, so this is turning into a really nice move. Okay, here's here's our other event here, right here. Okay, so uh, we're still seeing it go higher. So they're already through it. Okay, next level would, would be up here, 60. Uh, maybe a low volume node in here, but like, or this swing in here, somewhere around in here between, I, I think, yeah, I don't know. Not, not really sure on where this might go. You know, I guess, yeah, 60, basically. But uh, um, I think we're going to get some, some back and forth in here. Here, here. here again, look at our other event right here. Okay, high, high volume or high liquidity and high volume. And now we're below it. All right, let's see. Are we going to sustain below it? Then we're going to hit, we're going to hit down here, 53. Okay, see, see how there we got a game going on here though. So that that just got disrupted by this liquidity in here. Okay, it, it changed that. Okay, and we're we're finding buyers now. So we're back up above. Now we're looking for all right. So if that's the case, they should be able to hit 56 or 57. Now do we get buyers up here? Yeah, now we are. So there we go. We should get the move now. So we're really understanding some nuances here in the order flow. Testing it one more time, still finding buyers. So looking for it to go higher, looking for our move. Okay, they pulled here at 57 and a quarter. So it should go higher. We got we got on the bid here, we got some, some liquidity. We're finding some buyers. Should be able to break it. Uh, POC, um, so uh, <coughs> with the um, indicators um, like POC, you know, I, I try to keep my um, my charts pretty clean. Uh, a lot of times I don't even have the on chart uh, stops and icebergs. Um, if I want the clarity on, on some of the moves in here, then I, I will turn it on. Uh, and I, I almost always use the um, uh, automatic mode in here, and I'll, I'll use the multiplier to kind of filter out some. Uh, but uh, POC, like I, I just like looking at the um, the high volume nodes in here, you know, on my SVP and 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 CVP as well. I like to compare them. So I, a lot of times I don't I don't turn it on. You know, I'll just look at it. And I, I know there's a high volume node here, the POC is here, and then we also have um, a, a high high volume node up here at, at, at 4380. Now, interesting thing here. Now, you know, uh, guys, I don't know if you saw it. Like, I want to um, also uh, any of you uh, any of you in here um, trading London session. 
got some guys in here uh, we had a great webinar um, uh, a streaming event webinar with uh, Moby uh, earlier today I want to show you where the recording is on that uh, and this is why I want to cover it here um, so just scroll down here. Um, I kind of we renamed the um, it was a, a special webinars or uh, you know I don't know something like that. Um, now now it's called uh, special events. Okay, and then it's it's the first one right here. So click on this one here. All right, and then uh, you can watch this one uh, with with uh, Moby and uh, uh, you know <coughs> some really great stuff uh, about trading the extended trading hours. Um, and looking for certain things within the, and it's very, very different. I mean, like right now we're approaching our European close. So seeing this kind of counter trend trade happen in the European close, this happens a lot. You know, then we're looking for maybe trend continuation, um, uh, rest of the day. Now that trend continuation could be to the upside too, uh, and just get everyone duped going the wrong way and then get everybody grinded out to the upside. Right, so we need to look at our higher time frame and get a feel for that uh, as well. Here's our move on the hourly chart below this swing. Boy, I, don't, I really don't see much on here. Um, on the daily, I like it. Okay, it retested down here. Now, in the daily, we were bearish. Uh, and um, 15 minute, I don't see much on this hour chart to be honest. I, I like the 15, I, I, I see the move down, and then here's our retest you know, back up. Uh, so maybe about 62 or 63, somewhere around there. And they're here at 65. So we know that. And VWAP's up a little bit higher for you VWAP guys. Um, so anyway, what I wanted to cover here was this. Uh, and um, <coughs> Moby pointed it out, I mean, uh, in, in the video. And you, you'll, see, you'll see this all the time. Who's on the hook here? These guys, this profile here is on the hook. Anyone selling down here? Okay, so this this could lead to a, a really nice move back into the, the main point of control, the big point of control up here around 75. Okay, so that's that's a scenario. Now, we don't know, but we're, we're open to that scenario on the higher time frame. Okay, let's, let's go back and kind of man, manage or uh, match it up here. So 75 would be up up here, and it might be a point, of, It yeah, it would be the point of control of maybe this big range up here. So uh, the move here is pretty high probability to get up to about 63, more or less. So anyway, uh, yeah, and the, and the, the, all of this down here, the, see the, the big the big profile. Now, uh, Moby, I, I love the way he's doing this too. He's using a feature in here. Um, <coughs> in fact, let me just duplicate the column. It would be demo this better, uh, and then configure it here um, and show the delta. He's looking at the delta, uh, and he's saying like, okay, these guys down here, they're on they're on the hook. Yeah, this delta column we, we covered it uh you know a couple weeks ago i think um it, it's fantastic to see you you can kind of see and match the horizontal like who's in control uh with the vertical who's in control like right in here i mean this is showing us pretty good stuff we, we noticed like uh we kind of even drew up this kind of fictitious uh uh, uh vwap in here but uh the, the buyers above it well here it is in the delta you know great well, where are the sellers? Well, we know that. We know they're up here. That was the big event, right? So, and then here it is. Here it is vertically here, the big event. And here it is horizontally here, right? So if we can get our buyers back taking control, having these guys on the hook down here, all these guys on the hook, uh, then uh, a, a move back to here to just test it uh, would be a um, pretty, pretty good scenario to look for, okay? So now, now let's talk a little bit about um, some considerations. Uh, you know, it's not not recommendations, considerations here for 
um, a potential strategy, your low volume pullback. And this, this played out pretty nicely. Okay, taking control here. A little bit dicey in here, but then taking control again, even a low volume pullback to here. It's all, it's all fractal. So you, you can see like, um, uh, you know, here's the move, the move back up above it. And then the low volume pullback is uh, right in here. And then looking for a continuation back up to here at least. We're going through a lot of stuff, uh, but uh, it, it's fractal. Uh, and um, let's see what happened. Okay, we got up to 59. <coughs> we were looking for 63. Uh, still may do it, but uh, we got up to where it dropped from here. And liquidity coming in up here at 60. So weight increase of vertical volume bars on the chart. Yes, uh, over here, uh, you, you'll have to hover over the number here. And this number is just a guide. Like you can see the spike here. So you can kind of look at it and say like, it's about, you know, 3,000 or 3,500 here. Uh, I've really been lobbying for, um, and you guys can go to the forum, bookmap.com slash forum or I, on the toolbar there and lobby for this as well to uh, uh, have the hover over tool work on that be really helpful I think you see it doesn't doesn't work here uh, it works on the, the dots but not on the bars so uh, yeah that kind of skews the uh, uh, might skew people's uh, <laughs> or, or the developers uh, 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 feedback but uh, uh, yeah for years I've been looking for it and I know Dove and others have been looking for it as well um, but um, uh, anyway hover over this area down here and then left click hold and drag it okay Okay, buyers back up above and another area here. Here's the event. Here they are above it looking for the move. 58, 59, 60. Quick pullback. And here we go. Come on, buyers, lock it in. Okay, so this is our area here. We're looking at this, above it or below it. Or, I'm sorry, it's here actually, 54. Above it or below it. Sellers trying to get down below it. Okay, now that now they're getting, now they're successful. Okay, should get a retest right back here to this area here. Okay, and if we get the retest, it should happen right now, right here, 51 and a half up to 54 and a quarter. Come on, buyers, let's see it. Hit that liquidity here at 54. No, cannot do it. Okay, interesting move. Guys, also your low volume node uh, as well. Same idea here. This is where price rejected uh, and moved away very, very quickly. Look for the rejection again here. Pri primary scenario on the on the low volume on the um, uh, low volume node is uh, rejection. 
Okay, now let's see the order flow support it. Here come the buyers. So let's see them move it back up into these areas here. Uh, want to see that move back up to here, 54 and a quarter. Okay, Hi guys, I'm sorry. I, I've got to go. Um, I forgot about this. I, I have a, a, a meeting I've got to go to. Um, anyway, guys, it's been a, a pretty good webinar. We've seen a lot of different things going through a lot of different um, uh, order flow elements. Um, and um, uh, go check out, uh, you know, Moby's uh, uh, webinar, streaming webinar, and he'll, he'll be doing it again. Or we got a few different guys that will be doing it, I think. Uh, Dove and uh, David uh, uh, are interested as well. So, uh, uh, look, look for that. We, we're just, we're just trying it out, some special events, uh, and checking it out. Uh, and then uh, we have another event right after this. So uh, look for uh, uh, Tom B. He should be cranking up uh, his room, his Trader's Lab room here in, um, in just a few minutes, uh, between now and uh, you know 12. So uh, uh, jump over there and uh, and check that out and and continue continue with uh, some of the uh, uh, live analysis here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Excellent. Um, well, uh, uh, yeah. Have a good weekend, uh, and uh, we will catch up uh, next next week. Oh, yeah. I actually am, will be away next week. Uh, so, uh, but uh, J Trader and Scott will be there. Uh, Tom will be there as well. And there's another special event that's going to be happening on Tuesday as well. Uh, uh, Ask me anything with uh, Sviatoslav, uh, our uh, uh, R and D. Uh, developer uh, he's excellent uh, it's going to be a conversation with him and Sam and ask away please uh, it's it is he is he knows everything um, so um, yeah I, I really I highly recommend it uh, check it out uh, and uh, if you have any questions about bookmap that's the place to be yeah it's it'll be Tuesday it's on the calendar uh, let me before I go um, I'll also, I want to share something with you guys. Um, the uh, uh, I have a calendar here that I can share with you. Okay, and all of our bookmap events are going to be on this Google Calendar. Just a minute. And I'm going to put this into the chat here so you guys have it. So you can look for it in here. All right. There you go. All right, guys, I got to run. Thanks for coming, everybody. Have a good weekend and we will uh, uh, see you next week. Okay. Take care.